Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be our first video in our natural language processing series, and it's going to be on bag of words. This is one of those nice topics that's exactly what it sounds like, which means that it won't take us too long to get through this video, and hopefully it won't be too difficult for us to understand. So bag of words, the goal is to take a sentence, such as the sentence or this sentence that I've written here, and turn it into some kind of numbers. And so just going back for a second, one of the initial goals in natural language processing is that we have some sentence or some paragraph or some speech, and we would like to extract some kind of insights or do some kind of prediction, some kind of processing on it. But most of the tools we've developed in machine learning cannot take in strings or words and do anything meaningful. And so a natural first step is to take that string of words and extract some kind of meaningful numbers that's a good representation of that string of words. And the easiest way to do that is bag of words. So it works like this. Let's say we have a sentence that says, I like to go to the movies. Let's say we have another sentence that says, I do not like movies like this. And we can have many, many more sentences like that. The easiest way to turn this into some kind of series of numbers or a vector is to basically count the number of occurrences of each word. And so I've started tabulating that in this table here. So on these rows, you see all of the distinct words that occur in either of these two sentences. For example, I like to go the movies. Notice I didn't put two again here because we've already gotten the word two. Do not this. And you can put as many words as appear in your set of sentences. So if we're just dealing with these two sentences, then these are all the unique words that appear. And now simply what we do is just count the number of times we see these words in either sentence. So the first column, B-O-W-1, stands for the bag of words vector for the first sentence. And so the way to understand this is that the word I appears once in this sentence, the word like appears once in the sentence, the word to appears twice in the sentence, and so on and so on. And bag of words two is very similar, it just counts the number of times each of these words appears in each of the, in the second sentence. And so we have several zeros as well because some words don't appear in either sentence. And so that's literally it. I mean, that's the basic premise of bag of words is that we are going to take some kind of sentence or paragraph or speech and we are going to make the extremely simplifying assumption that it is just a unordered collection of words. And so that's very much of a simplification. Let's, let's say that right off the bat. This is very much a beginner model on which we build other models because as you can see already, it ignores things like order of the words. It just treats it as unordered collection of words. It also ignores things like meaning of the words. And so for example, in the second sentence, you see the word like twice, but it's used in two very different ways. The first like is kind of saying a general feeling of appreciating something. So it's more of a feeling of positivity. And the second like is more, if I had to replace it, I would say similar to. I don't like movies similar to this. So they're the same words, spelled the same, look the same, but two very different meanings. And so that's not going to be conveyed in bag of words. But again, this is a beginner model. And so that's why it's our first video. And we can just take these two bag of words vectors and we can start extracting some additional features. So we can start building even more features. For example, we can count the total number of words by simply adding up this column. We can count the total number of words in the second sentence by adding up the second column. We can also create some kind of feature called both, which asks, is this word occurring in both sentences? And that would simply be one if neither of these is zero, and it would be zero if either of those is zero. Um, we can also create TF IDF vectors. So I'm going to link my video on TF IDF, which stands for text frequency interdocument frequency, I believe. And so this measures how important a certain word is for either sentence. And so I won't go too into depth into how these are calculated. But for example, this term here, 2 over 7 times log 2, is a multiplication of two terms. The 2 over 7 is a text frequency because, first of all, we see two occurrences of the word 2. Uh, out of the seven total words in the first sentence. So that's where you get the two over seven. And the log two is because this word two only appears in the first sentence, does not appear in the second one. So it's relatively important overall. And so you can calculate those like that. So uh, again, the main thing I want to get across here, this is our first video and bag of words is not a complex model. It doesn't take into account a lot of things about natural language, but it's a good place to start. And the last thing I'll say in this video is what's the application of bag of words. 
given that it's not a very sophisticated model, it would seem that there's not a lot of good applications. But one of the ones that's been pretty successful is spam filtering. So most of us have an email account and you get really annoyed when you get those spam emails that are from like robots or companies who are trying to sell you stuff or scam you. So we would like to filter those into a separate folder so we don't get uh, notified of them. And so bag of words is a very simple method that still works really well for spam filtering. And here's the general idea. I'm not going to go into all the specifics. I think I want to make a coding video on spam filtering so you'll see the specifics there. So bag of words says that we have two bags, one bag for legit emails and one bag for spam emails. And the spam bag contains a lot more of certain words like send and money and rich and all these kind of scammy words than the legit one, which could contain words that are more genuine, like friend or birthday or happy, things that are from people you actually know. And so when we get a new sentence, so we get a new email, such as send money to get rich today, that's probably spam, but how would the spam filter with bag of words work? We would calculate the probability that it's a legit email, given we get this sentence, versus the probability that it's a spam email, given we get that sentence. And these two things will add up to one, so we just need to calculate one of them. Let's calculate the probability that it's a spam email, given that you get that sentence. So we can use our old friend the Bayes theorem, so we can rewrite this guy in terms of Bayes theorem. And so the numerator is going to be probability that you see the sentence, given that it's spam, times the probability that it's spam, uh, unconditional on anything. So this is the prior probability. And let's just say that's 5%, so we'll just make the assumption that 5% of all emails are spam. And so the last thing we have to do is calculate the probability that we see the sentence, given that it came from the spam bag of words. And we can use some simple naive Bayes assumptions. Again, I'm not going too deep into it, so if I'm being a little bit vague about the calculations here, it's just because I want you to get a general idea. And so the general idea of calculating probability of seeing the sentence, given that it's spam, using the naive Bayes assumption would be that What's the probability I see the word send given that it's spam times the probability I see the word money given that it's spam times the probability I see the word rich given that it's spam. And so you multiply all these things together, making the kind of unrealistic assumption that all these words are independent in a given email. And they each have their probabilities, which you can get from the frequency of that word in the spam bag. And you multiply all these guys together and you got yourself the probability that it's a spam email given you got the sentence. And so if that is large, then this is probably spam, and you can filter it to your spam bucket. If it's small, it's probably not spam, and you can just deliver it directly to the user's inbox. So um, spam filtering is still a great application for bag of words. So again, main point, bag of words, simple method, easy to understand, but not very powerful, but it'll serve as a basis for future natural language models. Okay, so until next time.